The town continues to the end of the legislative session. Less than three days to go, and lawmakers in Santa Fe still have to pass a budget. The Senate passed one earlier this week, but the House didn't talk about it today. Action 7 News reporter Kirsten Swanson spoke to politicians on both sides to find out why. Pass a budget. It's the one thing New Mexico state law requires legislators to do before the end of the session. But with time running out, the budget still hasn't made it to the governor's desk. The $6.2 billion bill was first passed by the House. Senators then made some changes and voted to pass the updated version. Now the House has to vote on it again before the governor can sign it. If a bobble happens, it'll happen on the House side because we've completed our work on the Senate side. But some House Republicans say they're concerned at some of the changes made in the Senate. The uh, Senate amendments reduce the uh, funding for the CYFD loan repayment program. It also uh, cut out some funding for the New Mexico Department of Tourism. It isn't just cuts. As Target 7 has been telling you, the Bernalillo County District Attorney has asked for $2 million in additional funding so her office can meet new deadlines designated to get cases through the system. To move to dismiss, move to dismiss. To dismiss the case. Dozens of cases have already been dismissed because those deadlines weren't met. Now we've learned Carrie Brandenburg can expect a boost, but not as much as she hoped. We didn't have a lot of extra money, but I think it was money that uh, the uh, district attorney would love to have. As it stands, Brandenburg's office looks to get almost $400,000 in additional funding to hire more staff and keep those cases on track. If lawmakers fail to pass a budget by Saturday, the governor could call them back to Santa Fe for a special session, costing you, the taxpayer, thousands of dollars. Back to you.